Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. I actually ponder that a little bit, and I'm kind of a little slow when I say the day because I forget what day of the week it is. So if you ever wonder why she is a little slow on saying the day of the week because I literally have to think about what day it is. So good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at seven to show you a fun new project. So on Tuesday, we are actually, this is the second part series to what we did on Tuesday's live. So if you missed Tuesday's live, today's might be a little bit funky. So make sure to go back and check Tuesdays and then you can always come back and watch this one as well. So hello everybody. Hello, Anna, Heather, Stephanie, Valerie. Good evening, ladies. So I am just going to make sure we are live on my iPad really quick. Um, so Tuesday we had a really, really nasty storm and it was really brutal. Um, there was a power line that blew and it actually caught the field next to us on fire. So my husband and I were out there with our binoculars. We were safe. The house was safe. Everything was good. It was kind of far away, but kind of close, a little too close to home. Um, and then we lost power at about 9.30 at night, didn't come back on until about 3.30 in the morning, and I had to be up at 4 for work, so needless to say, we did not sleep at all, and I'm trying to get the umbrella and the chairs, everything out of the pool, it was a hot mess. Um, but we're all safe, everyone's safe, but it was not fun. And the 15th was the start of our monsoon season. So to have a monsoon on the day it started, um, hopefully cross our fingers, we don't have a bad monsoon season this year. But anyway, that is my life in a nutshell. But anyway, um, let's see who else locked on. Stephanie logged on. Hello. How are you? Valerie, I think I said hi, but I'm not 100% sure. Hello, everybody. So today's project, and I actually don't know if my iPad, oh, it is working. Okay, I wasn't sure. We actually lost internet for almost ugh, like 36 hours or something. So I'm really, it only came on at about 11 or 12 today. So I'm actually glad. Otherwise, we would have had to go on old school and use my phone, which would have worked. But anyway, um, it, so today's the second part to a little series that I started on Tuesday. We're using 12 by 12 designer series paper. We're cutting it down to make eight really fun cards. So um, last on Tuesday, we went over a couple minutes. So I'm going to really try not to talk too much, even though I keep talking. And I'm going to point you down and we're going to get started. So there we go. So these are the cards that we made on Tuesday. We made four. Let me get that one out of the way. So we made four and it, you open it up and you have the des beautiful designer series paper on the inside and a little strip on the side. And it, we actually were a little wild and crazy and decorated the front a little bit different. Same concept, but just um, stamped a little bit different. And this was my original one that I had made to show you guys how to put this together. So let me get the four we made on Tuesday out and let me bring in what we're going to be doing today. So we are using the same stamp set. It is The Biggest Wishes. Um, but the designer series paper we are using is this in symmetry bundle. Um, this is a designer series paper in the bundle that matches it, but we actually didn't use the stamp set. Not that I don't think it's beautiful. I just wanted to use um, the biggest wishes. So that is what we are using tonight again. So let me bring in today's card. So I flipped it over um, so you see the beautiful back. This is Calypso Coral. I did do the same color concept on both of mine, but we are gonna change up our colors a little bit for tonight's card. Okay, are you guys ready? Drum roll please, just with one hand. Okay, so here is the card that we're gonna be making out of the leftovers. And you get four of these cards as well. So when you open it up, I will say I shouldn't have stamped the inside where I stamped it. So hopefully if my brain is working, we are going to remember not to stamp exactly where I did, but I still think it's super cute. So you open it up and it says friends. So it says happy birthday friend. Um, it's still super cute. I will definitely still send this out with it, a friend being right where it's at. But when you open it like this, 
it kind of does look a little cattywampus, but we won't do it on our other cards. But this is what we're going to be making tonight. Super fun, right? So before we get to cutting the designer series paper, I wanted to show you how to cut, how to score and cut one sheet of your eight and a half by 11 cardstock so you can um, get, oh, how do I say it? So we're doing the same thing only once instead of twice because if I go ahead and cut this in half, we're gonna have to score each piece of our cardstock. But if you do it like this, you only have to score it one time and then you cut and you have two cards ready to go. Hopefully that makes sense. It makes sense in my brain. Hopefully it came out correct. So this is a piece of eight and a half by 11 and I'm gonna put it up so the eight and a half inch side is up at the score marks. I'm gonna score this twice and I did put the measurements in um, the description as well. So we're gonna score it at one and a half all the way down and we're gonna score it at four and a quarter all the way down. So now you have one sheet of your bumblebee that we're actually using bumblebee and night and navy. So we're actually doing two. Um, so you have one sheet and we've already scored it twice. So now you can bring in your trimmer and you can cut this at five and a half. And now you have both of your card bases ready to go. And you don't have to score them individually at this point. Okay. So there's that, and here is the piece that we have left over. Let me grab my handy dandy ruler, and I wanna say it is 10 and a half. It is 10 and a half by five. So that is the piece you should have left over from what we cut on Tuesday. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut this at five and a quarter. So now you're gonna have two pieces that are the exact same, five and a quarter by five. <laughs> it took me a second. So you could probably cut these at the same exact time, but I actually think I need a new blade pretty soon, so I'm gonna cut these by themselves. We are gonna cut the, we're gonna put the five and a half inch side up at our um, cutting blade, and I'm gonna scoot this over, and I'm gonna cut it at one and a quarter. So I am now going to cut this entire sheet down to one and a quarter. And now we have four pieces out of this side that are all one and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm gonna do the same exact thing for this side. So I'm literally just gonna line this up. And in about 2.5 seconds, we are gonna have eight pieces that are one and a quarter by five and a half. And there we go. That is all we are going to be cutting. And that was one sheet of designer series paper that we made these four out of. So all four are the same except for the fun decorations on the front. And we're going to make four more. But then I decided I love Night of Navy and Bumblebee together. Those colors are literally probably one of my favorite besides pink. Pink I will always go towards, um, but I do love these colors as well. So we are going to make two of each of these colors. So I thought it would change it up just a tad bit. Okay, so let's start with the Bumblebee since I have it here. We're going to fold and we're going to fold this end back. So now this is what you're left with. You, now this is the little mechanism for your card. So let's go ahead, actually we can probably just fold all of them at the same time. So give it a good fold, give that a good crease, and we'll do the Night and Navy as well while we're here. Let's see, who just logged on? Anna logged on, Darlene logged on. Hello, everybody. So Peyton stopped by today. Um, I don't think she was planning on it, but she couldn't get home. Um, all the freeways were closed, all the surface streets were closed, so she stopped by for a couple hours and we got to hang out. So that was super nice. Sad that the freeways were closed, but it was nice to hang out with her. Okay, so let's get started. So let's just start with um, the bumblebee first. So we're gonna take our one and a quarter inch strips and we're going to attach right there 
and then we're going to attach to the inside. Super duper easy, right? Oops, I gotta scooch up a little bit. Super duper easy, right? So let's grab some adhesive. And less is more when you use Tombow. And I'm just gonna lay that down. Yeah, you can definitely see that I need a new blade. I don't know if you can see the little fringe that it leaves on the bottom. But yes, I think it's time. I actually have used this a lot and haven't had to change the blade, so it is about time. And I am gonna close this flap just so I can make sure that I'm kind of getting that even. Oh, there's Peyton right there. Hello, honey. I was just telling everybody that you stopped by for a little bit. So we can go ahead and adhere this side. Perfect. One more. And we might as well just do the night and navy while we're doing this process. But it's so fun to be able to use one full sheet and not have tiny little scraps left over. You literally could make hundreds of these cards, I'm sure, with all of our 12 by 12 that we are hoarding. Not that we are hoarders. So this one, oh, I think I love the night and navy. These colors just pop beautifully on it. Oh, got a little air bubble in there. There we go. And then lay that, oops, we need to close that just to make sure we're getting that even. Perfect. And our last one. And look, we used every bit except the two tiny little pieces that we wasted. There is a fly on my card and I don't want to hit him because I don't want to smash him on my beautiful cards. But he is literally going to drive me crazy. There's always one that drives you nuts. Okay, so that's the last. There we go. Now I did want to bring in this, um, the mini catalog is still available and I'm using this ribbon right here. It is called Fine Arts 3 8, 3 8 inch ribbon. Um, it, you get 10 yards of it and I thought it looked beautiful because it was kind of a gold and a cream and I think the gold matched the bumblebee that's in here. So that's why I chose this one. And I will tell you, because this ribbon is a little bit um, coarser than some of our other ribbon, I decided to go ahead and just put a piece of tear and tape along the edge. And I usually use mini glue dots. I won't lie when I do ribbon, but this one I just felt like it needed a tiny bit extra of um, hold. So I'm just taking, I have too many cards in front of me. I need a bigger desk. Um, I'm just taking a tiny piece of tear and tape and I'm putting it right up top because I will show you in a second the magic. So let's peel one side off and then you are going to take your ribbon, line it up. We're going to wrap this around. So I did that a little backwards, but that's okay. So wrap this around. And then you're going to come up here, lay this side down, and it will totally attach. Grab your paper snips. Snip it. And yes, I did it on the front of the card for a reason. So now I'm going to come in with the bow. I only tied three bows, so you will have to watch me tie a bow. And I'm going to put the bow right there. So it literally covered up that seam, and you don't have a seam on the back either. It is all underneath your bow. Super cute, right? So we'll go ahead and quickly do the other three. Let me prop this up over here so it's kind of not in my way. And I moved my camera, so I need to remember to push up my cards when I'm doing them. So literally, and you could pre-cut this um, to make sure or to have it be the exact size you need but I didn't. There we go. Let's grab a bow. Mini glue dots, there they are. And I don't know if many of you have seen, um, I'll just talk while I'm doing this. 
I have my little birthday Rolodex. I'll put this up there and you guys can take a peek at it while I'm doing this. So I have my birthday Rolodex and this tells me when I have birthdays coming up. So what I will do is I will go through my July. My June birthdays are already in the mail. Um, I will go in for my July and anybody that has a birthday, these are the birthday cards they're going to be getting. And I know I actually need eight birthday cards. So this little Rolodex comes in so handy and it literally keeps me organized. Um, now the trick is to remember to go into the Rolodex to look to see how many cards you need. That I don't know if I can help you with, but I can at least help you with this. So if anybody needs one of these, um, I do have some still here. So there's that and that's how I keep track of everything. So one last one, and we can continue on to the next step. So roll this down, perfect. And we do have to tie one last bow because I only tied three bows. So I do bunny ears. I'm gonna cross my bunny ears, and then kind of pull tight and then adjust to the size bow you need. There we go. Perfection. And then give it a little bit of a haircut and we are done with the ribbon. One last mini glue dots. There we go. Now we can continue on to the next step. So I have four pieces and these all are the same as I think they're the same as the first two that we or the first four we did hold on nope they're a tiny bit smaller um I did put the measurements up in the description because I actually did them as I was typing it in there but let me grab my handy dandy ruler and it's three by two so these um eight are all three by two so we are just going to actually have them sideways and let's do a little bit of stamping. So we're going to do happy. No, nope, that one says friend. This one says happy. That's exactly what we need. We're going to do this in night and navy. So we're going to do two in night and navy. And I do have my little cleaner next to me, so I'm going to clean this off. You do not want to get 980 on your Bumblebee ink pad because you will not be very happy at the of the outcome. So we're going to do happy on this guy or girl and happy over here. There we go. Clean that off in case I grab it again for something else. And let's do birthday in Bumblebee over here. Oh, you know what? Let's do oops, that stuff. Let's do this little cattywampus. Oops, and I'm out of screen again. I think I might just move my camera back down. <laughs> Let's do the birthday a little cattywampus. Super cute. Cleaned off our stamp and let's come over here and do birthday. Ugh, so stinking cute. I love it. So now I have um, some basic white and there's eight of these. So we're actually just gonna grab four of them for now. And I want to stamp friend. So let's get these out of the way, scoot this up, and remember stamp friend closer to the bottom. We are not going to make that mistake again. So let's do friend in the center, closer to the bottom. And let's do this one over here. Clean this off. Thank you, Jessica. Hello, Martine. How are you? And this one is going to be friend. There we go. Oh, this set is so fun. I do not even know if I can control myself. Okay, so there's that. I'm, we're going to use these again. 
So I'm going to set them to the side because I have quite a mess going on over here. So let's adhere the navy to the navy. Put some adhesive on the back. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, we'll see, because we're offsetting it, so be careful where you put the adhesive. Oh, actually, that worked not too shabby. So don't put a lot of adhesive. Just put a tiny bit in the center, because we're offsetting it. There we go. And then we're gonna do this guy. This is what happens when you get too much funness in front of you. Okay, so these are done. We're gonna let that glue dry for a second and I'm gonna bring in some of the card bases. So I am going to do Let's do the blue, let's do the night, should we do the knighted and the navy on the bumblebee? I think that's gonna look cutest. I think so, we'll see. We have four cards that we can play with. So this is gonna go right here. There we go. <clears throat> and then our plain piece is going to go on this side. There we go. Perfect. Let me get the other ones in here really quick. So we're gonna do Night and Navy on the Bumblebee. Yes, Darlene, I will totally help you do these at the retreats. So this is gonna go right there. And then our plain piece. and you have lots of room to write your sentiments. And you, if you really don't wanna write a bunch on your sentiment, put friend in all different colors on this side and put a couple over here, but then they'll just think they're extra special because they got lots of friends on there. But in reality, you just didn't wanna write a whole ton. <laughs> and I won't tell, I promise. Hello, Teresa. So there we go. We are almost done. We just have a little bit of decorating to do. And I will tell you, I probably should have cut this basic white a quarter of an inch smaller. Um, it is really a tight squeeze. It's gonna work, um, but I probably will go in and edit the description because I think it should have been a hair smaller. I mean, it, it's still gonna work and it's still gonna be beautiful and I'm still gonna send them out. Um, but yeah, I do think it should have been a hair smaller. So these are two and three fourths. It should have been two and a half, I think. But that's okay, trial and error. At least I didn't mess up the 12 by 12 sheets. That was the most important piece not to mess up. And I didn't, my brain was working. Okay, so there we go. And now all we have to do is decorate the outside. So you can take your little um, crosses, your little dots, and just kind of randomly stamp on the outside piece just to kind of give it a tiny bit of a flare. You don't have to, I don't think it's necessary, but you totally can if you want to. I did on my original card. And let's see, we did the bumblebee, so let's do the bumblebee on the outside. So I'm gonna bring in some dimensionals, and I'm gonna lay this on here, and I'm just going to put my fingernails, sorry, I gotta scoot you up. I'm just gonna put my fingernails right here, and this is where I'm going to put my dimensionals. And I'm just gonna offset them so it catches that ribbon, so it gives the ribbon a tiny bit more of a security as well. There we go. And now we can just lay this on. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Love it. Oh, you know what? I probably should have done the um, friend in blue on this one since this was happy. You know what? Let's see if I can be cool and not rip it. Yeah, that works. So let's do this one. 
You think that one? I don't know, but I see, I think I like the bumblebee color. Okay, we're gonna leave it. I do think I like that one better. So there you go. Super cute, right? And super easy. So let's go ahead and we did this one. Let's do this one bumblebee. So I'm gonna lay that there. Just kind of use my fingernails, my fingers as a guide. So I know where to put my dimensionals. Thank you for the hearts, I love it. If you give me hearts, that means you guys like what I am doing. Even if you shared my video, I would love for you guys to share it. You never know, maybe some of your friends will become crafters and we can all craft together. So there we go. Oh, I actually think I might have to make more of these. They are that fun. And uh, we're pretty close on time, but I did a little bit of yakking earlier in the live. So I, in the big scheme of things, I really don't think it took that long. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna be a little bit crazy and I'm going to do the Night and Navy. I'm gonna put some Night and Navy on here just to kind of give it a little bit of a flare. And hopefully I don't get a halo because I have a little bit too much ink on my block, but we are just gonna go with it. That's very cute. Super duper cute. Okay, we're gonna do, and don't forget to decorate the top too. Mm. Don't think I can get enough of these cards. One last one. And we're done. As easy as that. So if you needed directions again, if you want specific measurements, you can watch Tuesday's live. And it's actually uploaded to YouTube as well. Um, I can't figure out my YouTube name. <laughs> no laughing at me. I, I'm surprised I can do what I can with technology. We do not see eye to eye many times. Um, I don't know if it's under Sarah Edwards or if it's under Creating with Sarah. I tried to figure it out today and I'm just a hot mess when it comes to that stuff. Um, but it, it all my Facebook lives are uploaded to YouTube as well. So if you don't want to search um, my Facebook page, you can always go to YouTube and you can find them there. Okay, so I'm just adding a few extra little fun doodads. And I want to come in and add a couple here. Let's clean this off and do a little bit of night and navy. Ugh. Well, I think I'm just going to do one on that one. There we go. There are your cards for tonight. And if this bothers you, if it annoys you, um, that poking up, you could always, um, it, you don't have to wrap the ribbon around the back. You could just do mini glue dots and secure this down with a dimensional. Um, but I actually liked it, how it opened kind of like a 3D, 2D fun fold. So that is my concept behind this fun project. So hopefully you guys liked it. So let me bring in the cards that we just made. So there's the two in Bumblebee. Here are the two in Night of Navy. They're so bright and cheery. And this designer series paper, I really think, does make these cards. So there's those four. And then let me bring in the four we did on Tuesday's Live. And on Tuesday's Live, I did say I kind of wanted to not overwhelm you guys and do all the same color. But today I totally wanted to overwhelm you. So that's why we did two different colors. So <laughs> hopefully you guys like that. And hopefully you guys get out into your craft room and do some crafting and make some of these fun cards. Okay. That is it for tonight. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I love it when you guys do that. I will be back on Tuesday. Bingo Bogo is on Saturday. I do have a couple spots left, so if anybody wants to come, please feel free. Um, shoot me a message so I know you're coming. Um, my husband picked up the pillow gifts today from my girlfriend who made them, and oh, they are awesome. I'm so excited to give them away. Um, and if I don't see you on Saturday, I will definitely see you guys on Tuesday for another live.
We'll talk to you guys later. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out. I'll be around. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.